Wow, this is fantastic. Wow, this is fantastic. Hello and welcome. It's KB here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the real-time AI voice changer. Almost a week ago, I made this video. Hello, hi, and welcome. Today, I have taken over this channel. You should watch that video if you just want to know how this thing works and just quick overview. This video is a complete tutorial for beginners because almost all the comments on my previous video was about how to set up this place tutorial. So here I am doing the complete tutorial. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you something really cool about this AI voice changer. I'm not saying this just because I want you guys to watch this full video. It's it's really cool. First, you need to learn how this thing works and then, you know, you have to know that thing. That's all. Now, let's get into the tutorial. Open your browser and go to this GitHub page, W Okada Voice Changer. And here you can read more about this. Uh, so let's just get into how to download this first. So as of making this video, Right now it's 3.9a, the latest version. In my last video, I think the latest version was 3.8. So depending on when you're watching, the version might be different and maybe the voice changer will look a little bit different, but this tutorial should be able to help you to set up this thing. Now, this thing is available for Mac and Windows, sadly, no Linux. Since I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna have to download the Windows version. There are two download links actually. One is Google Drive. Drive. If you have any problem downloading this from a Google Drive and if you see an error something like this then you can use a Hugging Face download link. Instead of clicking on Google, click on Hugging Face and it will take you to the Hugging Face website. From here you have to identify which version to download if you want to download the latest version which is this one or you can download any version that you like. So I'm just going to download the latest version which is uh, 3.9a. So basically if you want to download the latest version from here you can look at the version name and you can also look at the the date when it was modified it or added. So basically this is the latest version it was added seven days ago. If I hover my mouse on a file you can see that there is a version at the bottom uh, it's say uh, 3.9 a so i'm gonna click on this because i want this version now it will open the new page uh, you just have to find this download button just click on that and it will start downloading the file it's around three gigabyte so it might take some time so depending on your internet speed but if you're using mac uh, it's only 700 megabytes. Once the file is downloaded, go to your downloads folder. Now you need to find this file that you just downloaded, which looks something like this. This is the name of this thing. And now this is a zip file, so we have to unzip it. You can click on extract all, or if you're using third party tool like me, 7-zip, then I can use the 7-zip to extract it. Now go to the extracted folder and you'll find another folder uh, named something like this you can open that and here we have all the contents for the uh, voice changer so what i want you guys to do is actually copy or cut this folder i'm gonna cut this uh, and i'm gonna move it somewhere else wherever you want to put it make sure that you put it where you can find it later <laughs> all right you want to make sure that it's in a safe place you don't accidentally delete it if you keep it in downloads folder maybe one day you'll delete it and you'll be wondering where did it go <laughs> so for that i'm gonna put this thing into the documents now finally open that folder all right and here you need to find start http.bat file all right there are two of them one is https if we follow the official tutorial they recommend us to run this file which is http.bat bad there is the https but we're gonna follow the official tutorial all right so if you don't see a dot bad file extension then in your file explorer go to view and go to show and then click on file extension name make sure it is checked then you'll be able to see the dot bad file you don't necessarily need to see the dot bad file you can look for start http file and then you can just right click and click on open or you can just double click it will open a command prompt actually it looks like that it is stuck but it's not stuck you may have to wait 
few minutes and it will start to do some things like it will download the voice models and other required files almost after a three to four minutes i see this now it's downloading different required files and voices voice models and everything uh, so again we have to wait for it to complete now finally once it's downloaded everything uh, it will automatically open this uh, voice changer client actually so it says real-time voice changer here and uh, you have to keep the command prompt window open if you close this it will also close this so you can also see the activities what's happening when you do anything in the voice changer client we have successfully downloaded this thing that's all you have to do to download this now you have to click on one of these uh, photos at the top which are actually voice models it comes with four different types of voice models two of them are girls actually japanese anime girls models and two of them are also japanese boys <laughs> voice models there might be a delay when you change the voice model because uh you know it has to change the voice model and it's a heavy program and it also requires a good uh, GPU or a good CPU uh, when you switch the voice model for the first time it might take like almost one minute to switch so don't worry if you don't see anything changed just click on voice model once and uh, you know just wait until it changes the picture actually let's put this thing here in bigger screen so everything fits in one place now let's first set up our audio devices leave it to client and in input device select your microphone whatever microphone you want to use i want to use yeti stereo microphone i'm going to select that and in output you have to select wherever you want to hear your changed voice if you don't want to hear your changed voice then you can select uh, whatever speaker isn't working or you're not using so first i want to hear myself so i know that uh, this thing is actually working so i'm going to select this real tech uh, audio speaker which i can hear using my headphones so i'm going to put my headphones now so yeah let's continue this still with bottom to top that's how we're gonna <laughs> complete this tutorial because first we need to set up our audio device which we did successfully and now we have to go to the noise section so there are three types of noise cancelling options first one is echo if you have echo in your mic or in your room then you can select the echo so it will eliminate the echo that is coming from your microphone sup1 which is a background noise removal suppressor or whatever you want to call it and we have sup2 sup1 is for lighter noise reduction if you have heavy noise in your room or in your mic then you have to use the sup2 so i'm gonna leave it to sup1 or you can use all of them at once actually which i don't think is a good idea so i'm just gonna use the sup1 only i don't have any echo in my room so i'm gonna leave the echo now let's move on to the chunk extra and gpu section uh leave it to 320 actually this is a decent audio bitrate so basically here you can select the audio quality of the voice changer if you set it to high it will sound really good really crisp if you set it to low it will sound really bad if you set it to middle it will sound okay and maybe normal more you increase the quality it will also increase the delay in the voice changer uh, which i'll explain to you as we go through this so i'm gonna leave it to 320 quality and then extra also gonna leave it default now in gpu section uh, it will auto select the gpu if you have any gpu uh, this is the rtx 2070 that i'm using which is decent and it just works all right if you don't have a gpu you can also use a cpu if your cpu is capable then yeah it, you should be able to use this but since i have a gpu i'm gonna use the gpu much better now finally let's go to the voice models settings first select your voice model whichever you want to use uh, for this example i'm going to use this voice model and i'm going to start this actually now if i talk now if i talk i actually sound like i actually sound like male because i am male male 
because I am male. So to make my voice sound like girl, I have to increase the tune value. Since I'm male and I want to get to the female voice, I have to increase it. If you're a female, you have to decrease it. So really simple. So here is a quick example, actually, one more time. Just listen as we... Just listen this, as we right? increase this, okay? I'm gonna increase... I'm gonna increase... It to eight. Into eight. Wow. No. Wow. Can you tell that this is me? Can you tell that this is me? Wow, this is fantastic. Wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> and this is amazing. And this is amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so for my voice... Uh, setting the tune to like 8 to 12 percent is the best and I get the best you know voice impression all right so that's that it depends on how your voice sounds and according to that you can adjust the tune value and that's all you have to do and you can also save it so next time you select that voice model you don't have to change any settings. Now let's try with the male model actually. How are you my brother? How are you my brother? Uh, I think it, it's, it sounds yeah, really good. I think it, it's, it sounds really good. Maybe I increase this a little Maybe bit. Maybe I increase this a little bit. Yeah, it will change the... Yeah, it will change the... Tune change. of the voice. Tune of the voice. Maybe I go something like this. Maybe I go something like this. So basically, if you're coming from male to male, you shouldn't adjust the tune value. If you're coming from female to female, same thing. You shouldn't do anything. If you're coming from male to female, you should increase the tune value. If you're coming from female to male, you should decrease the tune value. You have to go to the negative, you know, and... That's all you have to know, you know, to use this really simple and easy. I hope so. If you still have any questions, you can always do the comment. Now, if you click on edit button, you can see a list of uh, voice models here. Uh, by default, as I said, uh, it comes with four voice models, but you can also add your own custom models. This is where I hesitate a little bit because Right now, we don't know if we can use anybody's voice um, in this thing. There are many voice models on the internet that you can download of different uh, celebrities and peoples like Andrew Tate, uh, the Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and many other uh, peoples. You can download those and you can actually use those voice models here. Since I'm unclear whether we can use it or not, I'm not going to do a tutorial in this, how to download the voice models from the internet, but I can give you guys a direction. Like, Just go to the Google and search for RVC voice model download and you should see some websites that provide the voice models. And you can upload those voice models here. And I know you guys are very smart and I... No, you will figure out how to do this thing, all right? And you can also actually download the more voice models uh, within this voice changer. If you click on DL sample, you can see there are different models here, more than four. Uh, these are sample models that you can download. For now, there are only sample models. Uh, uh, and this is a just new thing. And uh, there is only Japanese voice models only. And uh, I hope that in future we'll see different voice models that we can download within this voice changer client. Now I'm going to tell you guys the coolest thing you can do with this voice changer. Uh, you can actually use this voice changer on Discord or any game. Wherever you can use your mic, you can use this voice changer but not directly. You have to use this indirectly. You just have to use a audio output device as a audio input device in your game or Discord. You can use something like Voice Meter Banana, which is a really cool virtual audio cable software. And with that, use this thing on anything like game or Discord. So if you just want to use the real-time voice changer client, that's all you have to do. 
you can use this to do a voiceover with different voice i guess or you just want to record yourself with different voice or something like that whatever you want to do with it have fun yeah that's all you need to know there is a built-in audio recorder you just have to click on the start and stop button if you want to record it just click on start and it will start recording once you're done click on stop and it will output that audio file as a wave file i will actually do a tutorial on how to use the voice meter banana with this so you can use this thing anywhere like anywhere game discord wherever you want to use it and uh, yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.